in order to celebrate this 25th anniversary of the dance program, we thought it was time to celebrate some of our graduates who have gone around the world and done extraordinary things. And I invited four choreographers who are having success in the New York City area to come back who graduated over the past two and a half decades to choreograph for the students and to present their companies in the performance. Dina has set up her company in Queens, New York. She has performed all over New York City and she has also been studying Indian dance. So she's been trying to incorporate the traditions of American modern dance also with Indian dance. And most of her works are political in nature and structure. Salvatore is a man of the theater. He has a wonderful sense of what American modern dance is. Yeah, you two split because she's actually a part of this equation. And also what the American musical comedy dance that. is. And he seems to be incorporating, in my opinion, both of those forms very beautifully in works. Sometimes they're political, sometimes they're just for the sake of pure dance. Beautiful. Great. Nikita Thomas. She actually lives in Trinidad now, which is where her family is originally from, and Brooklyn. And her company's called Roots and Wings, which is kind of wonderful. And she's gone back to her roots, and she's incorporating her West Indian influence into her dance works and the cultural differences between Americans and the Trinidadian cultures and putting them on stage for all of us to think about. Larry Kegwin is an award-winning choreographer and dancer who has performed not only at the Metropolitan Opera House and with different modern dance companies, but the modern dance companies after graduating from Hofstra that were the ones to be seen. They all picked him up right away because he was a brilliant dancer. He knows how to work with other people and to listen and to give them what they want. And he also has a vision, a vision of making dance accessible to everybody and not just to a few. And that's what I love about his work. It's amazing how comfortable it feels coming back. Um, it still feels like home. It was here for four years and it still feels really comfortable. Everyone's always been so welcoming. We also forget, you know, how well we were treated here, being out in the real world. It's, it's definitely a comfort to be back. It's such an honor and it feels really nostalgic being back here. Being on the stage is really meaningful, but actually what's, what seems to be more powerful is being backstage and being um, a part of the community again. And I, I remember so well how that felt being a student here. If it wasn't for half the professors, they helped build what I have now. They gave me a great networking source. They gave me the tools for life as an artist, uh, as a human being. They not only teach us as dancers, you know, teach us the technique and everything, but I think it's also they help you become who you are today. They help you learn the ropes of becoming a professional. So encouraging and fostering my talent and allowed me to take many more classes in dance. They were just really nurturing and really credit them for really leading the way for me and, and opening many doors. I also think it's important for the students here and also Hofstra to know what their alumni are doing. I think it's really important. I think it's important to share your life post-graduation and, and share the experiences, but it also is important to share it wisely to really respect your own career and also the trajectory of the students.